welcome to this stream. Uh, today, what we are doing is, um, yeah, just starting a little bit of a side project, you know, not doing like always the same thing because for the past like two weeks I've been grinding the same project for yeah basically the entire day or the time that I had on that day which is rave so I mean I can quickly show it um, right so it's basically it's kind of UI library and the YouTube stream kind of seems scuffed. Let me, let me investigate on that. So, okay, seems to be up. Seems to be up. On life, there is nothing. Okay, perfect. That's kind of nice. All right. Um. So, uh, so yeah. So that's basically the state of the of the kind of UI library that I'm that I'm developing, right? Um, like for like styling, this is just some kind of debug style, so it will not look like this. Um, but I'm currently working on uh, implementing uh, like a layout system because, as you can see. There is one parent diff that wraps those two um, other diffs and inside this diff there's other diffs that wrap buttons and in here there's also a diff that just wraps buttons. Um, and yeah that's basically the tree stuff and, and like you have something like margin and padding and um, so that's that right um, but that's not what we're doing today. What we are doing today is making a fucking terminal renderer and trying to do that. So let's let's. I mean, we should we should get some kind of name, right? Maybe like termini terminally ill. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's probably in no nobody really watching that can suggest it. But if you're watching, maybe suggest a name, right? Maybe like term 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 there because like render and terminal render, you know. So let's do that stuff. The music is a little bit too loud, man. Geile CLI. Let me. Okay, so Galilei CLI. Bro, let's move that shit. Blob shit. Bro, Galilei CLI is just, bro, it was chosen, right? So, it's the chosen fucking name. Hi, mate. Good evening. Thanks, mate. It's not really evening for me. Okay, it's actually already kind of late. Um, thank you, man. Okay, so let's call it Galilei.c. That's actually kind of a nice name. So let's do the basic include scdio printf hello gal how do you how do you Galilei? All right. Uh, hi. Are you from the U.S.? I'm actually not from the U.S. I'm actually from Germany. So yeah, I'm actually from Germany. Right. So let's create a quick make file. All I mean, make files are kind of redundant, right? I mean, but whatever. Let's just say cc is equal to cc. And maybe like a binary is equal to... Wonderful. You know about Eng Eng Enigma. Never heard of that, man. Never heard of that. What is that? So, at cc-o bin, bin, right? And then everything.c. Now that's basically it for for the building process so make and then we should be able to execute our program whoa yes indeed what is make file 
make that like a um a builds like not kind of a build system but building script systems like a building script language right okay so making a terminal renderer wh where do we start right i mean we should probably start by getting something to render like maybe clearing the screen or something so let's have something like typed abstract um pixel right you use chat gpt um to, like occasionally i i'm using that guy right so type dev enum and let's see let's open up a firefox and say uh how many colors are or what colors can you render on in terminal eight anti colors black red green yellow blue magenta cyan and white that's perfect right so let's define those as our colors and then maybe capitalize this the shit out of them right so black red green yellow blue let's make a little bit of line break magenta cyan and the ant i'm sorry but c doesn't understand the ant right so maybe we should make yeah okay let's let's do something like that is equal to zero right are you making it completely from scratch or using any library i'm not really making it like i'm making it from scratch like i'm not really using any library except for libc right so that's the plan but um uh but to be honest i have no idea how i just i just thought why not stream and then like what should i even stream and then why not make a fucking terminal renderer from scratch and see how far it goes right so let's have an array of pixels so pixel pointer screen uh yeah right and that should probably not even be global hardcore i like that I like it also. Um, right. So, um, let's define something like a un 32 t screen width uh, is equal to, let's say, 32. That's a cool number. Screen height. And we actually can't do that because we need to use the mighty libc, right? Yes, to the end. Um, so, let's malloc size of pixel times screen width time screen height that's what we are actually going to malloc call to undeclared library oh my god we are so dependent right so already three includes in in under 30 fucking lines of code rip terry davids real uh at it's back in the ah, okay 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 just explaining what a make file is right Okay, um, so we have the thing allocated, so then let's uh, have something like um, we'll void fill pixel, right, and we're hardcore, so we're not using underscores. A normal developer would maybe use a fucking underscore here, but we are hardcore. We are hardcore. Like, the next function will look like this, void fn, that will be our next function, right? <laughs> Average libsy. <laughs> okay. So fill pixel will take in uh will take in a screen, right? So pixel pointer screen, and then a un32tx and un32ty. And let's do it like that, right? Because we don't have a lot of space. And maybe get a little bit more space by removing the tree. So x and y, and uh, then we kind of need a color, so color, color. And what that will do is just screen at, um, and then we basically say y times, and we kind of need the screen width, right? So, uh, what's up, exponent, welcome. So, screen width. Okay, maybe let's say just width to be, to be cool, right? Because, and uh, maybe in here we say, screw, I, I, I have, I have, actual problems <laughs> i'm sorry uh no but let's remove the underscores okay because we need to we need to keep one kind of style so oh my god hi uh hit that frame buffer boy 
Um, who need realistic graphics when you can, uh, can do everything in a TTY? That's real. I am so fed up. Do you say fed up? I, I think you say it. Um, I'm definitely fed up by OpenGL, right? So let's, why not make an own software renderer and, um, and stuff. So that's basically how we, um, how we, um, convert the, um, the, like, X and Y coordinate to a, um, single coordinate. But what is this? What is this music? I'm hearing voices. Or, or is it the music? Uh, I, I hope you can hear that as well. <laughs> like the music, the, the screaming and stuff. Um, okay, whatever. Let's not... Um, um, assigning to pixel. Okay, so... So the, the, the thing is, a pixel is just a color, right? So in theory, we would not even need the pixel struct. But it kind of looks cool, right? So let's let's just keep it. Uh, Vulcan is hell compared to OpenGL. That's true. What the library you used in writing a text editor video yours? Cause I saw it on GitHub when I was playing Ragnar. Ragnar didn't work out so well. Um. So why does it didn't Ragnar work for you? First of all, uh, what what was the problem? Probably missing something. And. The library, I didn't use any library, I just used native x11. Ah, you mean the rendering library, probably. This was the library I made, Ronara. It's called Ronara. Wait, I can kind of, can I add you somehow? Like that, add https uh, github.com slash cococry slash runara. Can you make a terminal by piping to the dev tty0? That actually cool, right? I don't know if that's working. Right? Um, I don't know. Okay, so uh, so basically that's how we insert something to the screen. But now rendering the screen is a um, pretty much another story, right? So so let's say screen height, and then we free the screen because we clean up after ourselves, right? So uh, by the way, what's the what's the date? Okay, five. Okay, right, right. So we have a little bit of time left. Um, right. Uh, so, so yeah, let's try and fill pixel. Um, screen. Let's just fill zero, zero. Wait, the, the width is the screen width. Zero, zero with... Um, what's that? Color. Color is just red, red. Red. Um, okay, and let's, uh, let's check if it d d doesn't sack fault. It didn't. That's kind of cool. Uh, what about 30-30? Still works, right? Still kind of works perfectly fine. But that kind of doesn't make sense, right? Because y times width. Wait. Ah, the, the, yeah, that, that, that kind of makes sense, right? Because we have... Yeah, yeah, yeah that kind of makes sense. I never tried that. Well, opening up Ragnar worked out, thanks. Where the... That's where the working well stuff ended. Okay, so what what is the problem? Describe it, and I hope I can fix it, right? Um, now the problem is how to write, like, how to write some kind of memory into the terminal. Like, what we probably would need to do is, let me see, I mean, mm, we need something like a uh, Unicode full block, exactly. That's what we need. And, um, and then we kind of say... Uh, then we kind of say, let's say no color. I mean, right, because, I mean, let's just say for you and 32 t is equal to zero, i is less than, um, less than screen width, i plus plus, and uh, then we say, if, I, and that, by the way, screen width times screen height, right? So, screen height, and if i, 
modulo oh i don't percent i if i present uh, screen width is equal to zero we just say print f like such and right and then and then basically in here we say print f that should and that should kind of print our quad right so make okay that's kind of cool right so we kind of have that um so let's make the screen just three by three Uh, oh, wait, so that's the 3 by 3, right? So, like that. Let's see what that does. Okay, it's, it gives us that shit, which is kind of bad, right? So it should give us just the... Uh... Yeah, and that's a problem, right? So, how should we fix that? Because kind of, you know, the terminal isn't perfectly, like, square. That's kind of a problem. I mean, we can probably uh, for fix that by floating point, uh, by working with floating points and stuff. Right. And then, yeah. I mean, let's fix that. Let's fix that when it comes to it, right? Let's fix that when it comes to it. Um, let's first uh, implement coloring. So let's say, um, Terminal render colors. C. Don't want any fucking JavaScript, right? Terminal colors. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Can you just give me the Anzi escape code, please? Oh my god. Terminal colors and the escape codes. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted. So where is it on the side? Okay, perfect. So blue, right? So like that. We um. All right. So let's uh let's just say if wood are welcome. I probably butchered your name, but whatever. Um, all right, so screen at i uh, dot color equal equal, and then we start at black. Right, so the, this is actually the same list. I hope black, red, green, yellow, perfect. Um, so like that. If it's black, then we just say print over that. And we have the black escape code. And we kind of need to something like, okay, so let's kind of micro that out, right? So, hash define, turn red, and as that. And we need something like, as, um, followed by a reset. So this is a reset, I guess. Reset. Ah, perfect. Thanks a lot. This is actually a good website. So, let's kind of copy that, right? And let's kind of try and lay out that quality. So, yeah, we kind of, in Vim, you kind of can't really do multi-cursor. Like that, if someone knows how to do that, that would be great, because I don't know it. And I'm too, uh, I'm too dumb to look at that, right? So let's define all of that. Let's define. Let's define. So we set as a that white. Now that's kind of the part. I mean, what should I say, right? So I'm just formatting some code. Kind of not interesting. You can't cannot really talk about it that but that like that much yeah. so red black and we probably would need something like term in front of it but i'm not doing it right now right so maybe we oh, yeah, right let's do that let's say term that's that's actually probably should have just used 
GPT-4 that gen auto generates me all of the fucking codes. Or well, basically, just ask ChatGPT, make me a software renderer for the terminal in C, and then just put it on my second monitor, and then fucking do as if I'm calling <laughs> software renderer, right? So that's modern software engineering to its finest. Um, right, so just looking up the code. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so term cyan, term magenta, term blue, term reset. Right, so that's all of that. And then let's say term blue. It's actually term black. Universal character names refers to a control character. What? Refers to control character. What's your problem, bro? Just, just what? What should that? What the fuck? Can't I just do that? There's something like you in front. Not really. Unicode character that may not contain multiple characters. Mm -hmm. So what if I got universal character names refers to a control character? Is that actually an error? Or it's just the thing being weird. Passing argument of printf from integral compatible pointer type. Can we manipulate pixel directly? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. Are you still using your phone for your hand cam? Um, no, actually not, actually not. I, I bought a camera. Um, I bought a camera for 80 euros, but the problem is it cannot, it cannot really autofocus correctly. That's so tough. Look at this shit. It can only focus stuff that's really, like, uh, it's possible to focus that stuff, right? So you can see my hand correctly. But if I'm here, it cannot focus anything. So that's a problem, right? Win32 provides bit BLT. I don't know what that is. Uh, right, so uh, terminal render red text C. Bro, I just want to... Why do I get an error when I want to print red text? That's actually insane. That's actually insane, right? Adding colors to your output from C. Right. Mm, yeah, that's kind of cool, but... So yellow? Okay. Yellow? What? What the fuck is that? So, so that works or what? So what's the problem, right? Is what was the other website joking or what? Red and yellow. What do we have as red and yellow? It's actually the not the same, right? So, is, or is it? It's kind of. It's kind of not, right? It's kind of not. So. The the first website was actually being completely dumb. So what the fuck they just they just gaslighted me into thinking. Why? What the fuck? Was I missing something? I don't know. Can I please give me a list? Give me just give me a list. I don't want that. Oh my god. Come on, bro. Come on. Unsee escape code. Unsee escape codes. Oh my god, fuck this shit. Fucking microphone falling down. As usual. It's falling down again. 
it's the construction it needs to be rebuilt right so like that it's kind of kind of good um the original 8k oh my god bro i'm i'm so i'm so close i'm so close to asking chat gbt this shit right Come on, search engines, do you want to say you're completely unusable? I don't think so. So, so prove me that you're not completely unusable, right? Um, why? Okay, now that uh, and the full available so you can punk oh my god what 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 wait that works i'm actually actually cool right let's try that and reset uh, reset obviously not works so what is if we just replace this with zero three three yeah zero three three um zero three three no okay hmm so then let's just not reset right and don't do that and uh can i do that and that that's kind of cool right brownish background that's kind of insane all right okay so let's let's go through that so how how does that actually work Um, right, so select RGB foreground color. Ah, okay. RGB foreground color. Let's see. And, uh, um, slash M. So that's a foreground color, and then uh, so that's basically, for example, 255 0, uh, 0. Something like that. That's insane, right? That's kind of insane. Not gonna lie. Uh, Anzi escape reset. That was I was what that is what I was looking for. Thank you, man. Um, that open jail is actually that open jail is pretty good. Um, I learned a lot of stuff from it, right? Oh my god. No, that pain again. Maybe we can just, yeah, we can probably just replace the stuff, right? So let's see. Mm. Right. So let's say u zero. Let's actually double back it probably. Yeah. U u zero zero one. We replace with that. Uh, like that. Or like double back slash. Zero, zero, three. Right. And will that work? Probably not. Reset. No. Turn reset. Yes. Perfect. So we can actually. You plan on making a video with the slip uh, like you did last time? Or just making it fun or both? Yeah, uh, like this, this stream will be probably uploaded to YouTube as a stream, and maybe it will be some kind of series where we're developing this shit. Um, right, yeah. That would be kind of fun. Um, so now that we have that, what we kind of, we kind of can leave everything of that away, and then a color can just be a unsigned char RGBA. So unsigned. What? Unsigned. Char. R G B A. 
What? Ah, because it's oh, I think that because it's the enum, right? It was a fucking enum. Um, so that has a color, and yeah, so that will work perfectly. And this just we can just say percent. Then let's use our Google again. Print unsigned a char in C. Mm hmm. Declare your. Alright, okay, so present you, right? Present you and present you, and that will uh, give us. That will actually um, say. Let's, let's get a pixel, pixels equal to screen of that. And then we say um, pixel.color.r. What window renderer are you using? Uh, looks different. A window renderer? You mean compositor or? Well, like I'm using Picom P Julius, right? Like, by the way, we don't have Alpha, right? I'm using Picom P Julius. And for terminal, uh, for the thing, for the actual window manager, I'm using Rodman, which is a window manager, right? So, browser window. Ah, you mean like uh, the theme? If you mean the theme, it's Groovebox. It's Groovebox. Uh, we lost our thing, right? So, Unicode full block. We lost that. Let's let's give it in here. Give it into here again, and then um, and then we have that. Which effectively renders stuff, right? Uh, right, right. So, so let's define something. So let's define, let's define uh, black as color zero 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 white. Like the basic, right? So twenty fifty five fifty five twenty fifty five. And then red, uh, green, and uh, blue. So, zero, 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 and uh, zero, and zero. So red, green, blue. And now let's kind of say memset uh, screen. Mm, no, but we kind of can't do that, right? So let's let's just say for gameplay to the is equal to uh, zero is less than screen width times the screen height. The usual screen height and then i plus plus. And then we say um, screen screen at i dot color is equal to red. Yeah, right. Okay. Hey, we're not even printing them again. Ah, oh, okay, right. So here, uh, it's kind of completely white, right? So, and it's kind of didn't work out as expected. So that's our three by three thing, which is actually not three by three. Uh, so we kind of don't have red. I mean, red is just two hundred fifty-five zero zero. Uh, I mean, does it have to do RGB? Hmm. Weird indeed. So let's try and say one fifty-five. Uh, but maybe the Something is just not working correctly. Like that, I guess. Ah, maybe because of that, right? Because of that, I think it's actually because of that. I think, maybe. Right? So, mm, doesn't seem to be. So, this is kind of a zero. 
like zero end. Where is it? Is it the right? I don't know. Zero end? Um Right, so that was a thing, right? Or wasn't it? No. Where was the good guy? This stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it was him. Uh, so where was the all the colors? Combine them. All the colors. Select foreground color. So let's select foreground color. Right, so. Like that. So, percent you. Percent you. Percent you. Why shouldn't that work? Now it works! What? Alright. Um, okay. I guess. Okay, so let's maybe try and... Yeah, that, that's kind of nice, right? That's kind of nice. Uh, so let's make some kind of a function... Uh, clear screen. Pixel screen. With palette. And uh, color, color. So like that. Width and height. So, and maybe even a. Yeah, I I mean we could make a function like create screen or something. Yeah. Let's first um so clear screen. Screen. Uh, screen width, uh, screen height, that. Right, so that should give us the exact same thing. And then we say maybe like, uh, fill pixel, screen, screen width, zero, zero, green, right? Let's see if we maybe have a green thing. Amazing! Look at that shit. That's amazing. Now, um, is there some kind of way to to kind of like um, draw rectangle, rectangular, rec rectangular? Like character in terminal. Print rectangles to terminal. I'm trying to write the text as a linear so that looks like again. It starts sliding, stick a kind of. That's kind of nice. That's not really what we want. Right, so is isn't there some but a square box is usually characters which absent in your current font Yeah Something like that, isn't that the same? Yeah, okay, that's kind of bad and that that kind of looks different. What about this one? This, that, and that. That's that. Um, right, so... We, we kind of need a full thing that is still... Yeah. That's actually kind of a problem, right? Because everything will be stretched. I mean, we could always say we want to divide the screen width. So let's say screen height divide is divided by equal to is equal to screen width uh, screen height divided by two plus one. And then let's get back our full block. Like that. What? 
Wait, what? No way. So now it's kind of red, I guess. But it's kind of red also, no? Um, so let's see, our full block, this is our full block. Right, so that's kind of more rectangular, but it's, but it's still not really rectangular. Um, let's try and increase the size to like 10 by 10. Right, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we kind of need to live with, with it, right? Because... Or what if we would use actual characters to render? Okay, that's actually better. What is that for? What do you mean? The, t the actual renderer? Just for fun. Okay, that's kind of better, right? What we could do is use smaller characters on the sides. Something like dithering. I wanted to do that. Maybe like that. Red and green rectangles. So for testing the thing, right? What about our hashes bigger than this? No, I mean everything is kind of the same size. <laughs> To be honest, right? So let's actually not uh, worry about that for now, right? Because we kind of cannot do anything about it in the terminal context. I mean, we can if the library evolves also evolves also it go away from terminal and then render stuff actually only into memory because now we are just rendering stuff into memory. So let's say draw a rectangle, right? Let's specify um, a function that draws a rectangle, why not? And I think for that, what we should kind of uh, use is, is actually vec, uh, vec force. Uh, I mean, what the fuck, vec tools. Now the problem is, should we use uh, integers or floats? Probably floats, right? So float x, y. Probably float. So draw a rectangle, takes a vec. Like, like takes a screen first of all, the screen and screen width. Then it takes a like to um size and like uh, pause. What's the size? I can't do that, right? So, like that, like to pause, like to size, and then a color, color. Right, and um, and then we say. Basically, what we say is uh, we need the full pixel function, right? Uh, so screen. I'm just like that. We did that for every function, so so actually width and um, x is going to be yeah. So let's make a for loop that just renders everything from uh, for the y. So y is equal to uh, post of y. And y is less than um, is less than size of y and y plus plus and uh, we say y and basically x and y right? so like x it's the same thing but for x so x so x y is equal to not so sure this. Size the box, X plus box. Um, and then the color we specified. That's kind of it, isn't it? I think so. So let's try and um, let's try and draw a rectangle. Um, Well, like I'm, I'm thinking about that shit. Like this is actually some some bad bullshit, right? Uh, but uh, but whatever. Let's let's keep on and draw our rectangle. Screen width and let's try and just do zero zero in here. 
And, and by the way, we kind of need to cut that, right? So, you have 32 to me. And by the way, this should actually be an int. Because we can also draw all three rectangles. Right? So, int32t, int32t. Uh, yeah, perfect. Like that. And then in here we say, from the back, uh, like two, five, five, green. Just a green rectangle. Looking nice, right? Kind of not five by five, but whatever. We kind of need to do that for everything, so let's say 5x2. 5x2 is kind of. 5x2 kind of works, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. What, if, what about 5x3? Yeah, um, so what, what we basically want is always like 5 by 2. Right, I guess. Yeah. What, what, like, if we say 2, right? So if we say 2, it gives us this. But if we say 3, gives us this so it's it's both wrong which which is just hilarious right which is just hilarious um whatever no worries guys okay so let's see two by zero that's that right so what the fuck is that <laughs> that's actually kind of insane like the width is correct Okay, and the X and Y, which can also be correct, right? So, Foster Y, Sasser X. Hmm, so I must play one zero. One zero does that garbage, what? Okay, Y is equal to Foster Y. Y is less than size.y and y plus plus right and then fill pixel just fills it with the color and y plus width y times width plus x kind of also makes sense right yeah and mm -hmm. okay. so let's say print f uh, x Nine. Uh, percent nine. Percent i and that's a sign and then x y just like that. So uh what we first have is one zero. Yeah. That's kind of correct. One zero and then two zero because we're advancing and then three zero four zero and then one oh wait 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 four zero and one two three four so that's kind of actually correct so right because that's the pixel Ah, it's because, oh my god, wait. Because, um, okay, so that's correct. So it's drawing this and this. And then it's... Wait, but the first thing is kind of incorrect. Right? So the first thing that we draw is kind of incorrect. But that kind of... Just makes zero sense to me because like when we draw stuff yeah, let's just f ah wait bruh 
Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that was an easy thing to learn. So, 1-1 one, one kind of does that shit. 1-2. Okay, 1-2 is going to disappear. That's also great. It's probably because we uh, need to say plus post.y and plus post.x, right? That fix just got uh, me subscribed. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, nice. Okay, um, so 2-2. Two, two. Okay, also works. 3-2. Okay, so we can basically draw rectangles, right? Okay, nice. So we should probably implicitly always um, kind of we should probably implicitly say size dot y divided by equal to two, and also here height. Yeah. So height and um, and also where's um, where's that shit, right? So where's that? Ah, it's it's actually just uh, that. Okay. So um, screen height is ten, but that's just divided by two, right? Okay. Nice. Um. Yeah. 10, 10, and let's say uh, 10, 10 in here, just to see, okay, I guess, okay, but first let's say 0, 0, 10, that can kind of work, 1, 1, kind of does that, You still use Ragnar or is this Hyperland? It's still Ragnar. And my Envil is pretty crazy. Thank you, man. Well, that's actually a really easy setup. I didn't do anything. So, it's kind of not my actual work. Right, so that's kind of a problem. Um, why is it always tending to do stuff like that? Like, like missing out one pixel? I don't know, man. Yeah, that's an actual rectangle for once. What if I said 3-3, three, 3-3, three, 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 you got a rectangle? Okay, kind of not. Right. So why is that? Um, it's kind of not doing stuff. It's kind of not doing stuff. Um... Right, so that's kind of scuffed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so so it's it's giving me this shit. So x is three, x is where's three, four, three, five, three. So it, it that doesn't make sense at all. So it's rendering three pixels or what? But those are. Oh, those are actually three, right? Those are actually three. And then it probably got to here. And then to here. So what we basically need is... Um, is... If... Um, yeah, we kind of need to give the height. So if uh, y is greater than or equal to height, or um, x is greater than or equal to width, we return, right? That's kind of important. And um, yeah, I guess that should fix it. Probably not both, whatever. 
So let's keep that height as well. Green height. Uh, like that. Okay, it didn't fix it. Uh, pretty obviously, right? Um, so, so yeah. Now, anyways, nice watching. Uh, this uh, gonna go now. Now, what? Why are you recording macro for W? Probably an accident. How how do I remove that? I have no idea. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not doing anything wrong, right? I don't know. All right, so draw a rectangle. Um, that's actually kind of dumb. Why? Am I missing something? Like, why isn't it? So we start at click Q to stop recording a macro. Oh, okay, kind of interesting, right? Hmm. So we start at three, three. Then we advance one in the X and one in the Y. And this is basically you're still recording a macro. Yeah, bro. I isn't it? Is it doing something? Like what is this shit doing? Is it like actually? Re I don't know. Recording something and then set, putting it into some file or I don't know. All right. I have no idea. So printf iterated by Ah it's because we changed the size that why oh my god that's so dumb, right? That's kind of actually dumb. Um Yeah. No 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 the chat is delayed a bit uh is it actually delayed? I don't know, probably for you. Um, Alright, so let's see, zero, zero. Like, this is... The height thing is kind of a problem, right? But whatever, <laughs> maybe we'll have fucking uh, stretch stuff on the round. So let's try and say it's equal to screen actually size dot y is equal to size dot y divided by a two plus one. Okay, that, that looks more like three by three, right? But it's kind of yeah, it's kind of dumb, right? So we kind of need to say plus one in here as well, right? Kind of like that. Corrupt size, what? Actually, interesting. Interesting, right? Okay, but this then should kind of need to be five. And we kind of should not do something like that, right? Still, malloc corrupted top size. We can't malloc stuff or what? Maybe it like that. Corrupted top size. What did I change, bro? Have it like that, okay. That gives us this shit. Mm -hmm. That gives us that shit. That gives us that. Alright, um. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't fiddle around with the height at all. And just keep it how it is because I suppose let's introduce scuffed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, cool. Cool, right? That's actually nice that it's strong black. So 
So that's our actual rectangle now. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I mean, what we could uh, now try is implementing circles. Implementing some circles. Let's let's try one last thing. Just changing that. Okay, kind of works, right? Kind of works. I mean, what we could do. Our little friend. <laughs> um. So so let's try and say, uh, like, I am. Um, I am um, using the uh, MC4 block character to render pixels onto my terminal, but the character is twice as twice as high as it is. Hmm. Twice as high as it is. Yeah, like. Um. Like, I'm thinking, what if we don't. If we just in the rendering do that? Right. Or oh, basically skip every if mm, basically load y skip to zero y plus plus and if y percent two equal to zero Continue or something. Right? But that will not work. Boom! Oh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Okay, uh, to render pixels onto my terminal, but the character as far as I had as it's uh, white. What could I do to solve this? I'm using C. Uh, scale your rendered pixels. You can adjust your rendered logic. So. Output two for, for every pixels in width. Right? That that would kind of work. <laughs> Bro, I'm I definitely need a break, but Bro, what's this is actually this is actually hilarious, right? That should in theory just work, right? Yeah, but it kind of doesn't. Because yeah, that's the problem because it isn't exactly twice. Oh wait, does it actually work? If I say two by three, oh, that's that's insane, bro. How can I be so dumb? That's insane, bro. That's insane. Um, zero, zero, five, five. Oh my god. We used our ChatGPT Joker very wisely. I'm kind of a dummy dum dum, right? Okay, um, do we have still time left? Yeah, we have some time. Uh, let's Google up how to draw circus. Uh, in, in, yeah, like in 2D.
Yeah, just give me some random stuff. Circuit drawing algorithm. Burzenham. Burzenham circuit drawing algorithm. So let's read that scheiße. And I can actually say scheiße because I'm actually German. <laughs> um, Burzenham circuit drawing algorithm. X. Okay, that's actually insane. Cot is just the smartest person. Right? Wait. Midpoint circle, um, that's actually what we want. Right. So, so, yeah. The midpoint circuit is an algorithm used to determine the points needed for rasterizing a circuit. We use a midpoint algorithm to calculate all the parameter points um, of the circuit in the first octant and then print them along with their mirror points in their octants. This will work because the circuit is symmetric about its center. Okay. It's very similar to the midpoint line generation algorithm. Here only the boundary condition is different. For any given pixel, the next pixel plotted is either is either x y plus one or x minus one y plus one. Yeah, this can be decided by following the steps below. Find the midpoint P of two possible pixels. Mm -hmm. If P lies inside or on the circuit parameter, we plot the pixel. Otherwise, if it's outside, we plot the pixel uh, boundary condition. Uh, when Whether the midpoint lines inside or outside the circuit can be uh, decided by using the formula. Given a, a circuit is centered at 0, 0 and a radius and R and a point P X Y if P the point is inside the circle yeah okay that's actually nice okay that that sounds kind of easy to implement right that sounds kind of easy to implement. So let's try that. Void raw circle. Uh, we have a pixel pointer screen. Uh, then we have a unit 32t width, unit 32t height, and a um, and a uh, um, actually a radius. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Um for given to t y is equal to zero, y is less than r, y plus plus. Right? We say and then also for the x. We say if if uh, x times x plus x times x plus uh, y times y minus r times r is uh, less than or equal to zero. pixel screen with height x y and the color is just let's say green for now 
Right. If that works, I would be very stunned because I don't think it works. Wow. So draw a circle. Screen with right. basically screen width and screen height. And what does it take? It takes the radius, right? Let's say five pixels. And let's see our circle. Look at this. It's a circle. I mean it's a circle, right? <laughs> oh my god. We denote um Okay, that's kind of a different thing as this, right? Okay, so R0 on the x-axis, the initial value of P is calculated as follows. P1, I mean. So R minus P1. What? The, didn't you tell me something different? So R minus 0 0.5. What, 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 what? Why 0 0.5, bro? You, you told me something different in here, right? You kind of told me something different in here. So, what is bro doing in here, right? So, that's kind of interesting. Midpoint is inside or on the parameter. 1 minus R. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And then if the generated point is on the line x equal to y, then the parameter have already been printed. I mean I mean I I, I can understand things a lot better when I see them in code, right? So circle.cpp So let's compile that bad boy I thought we were gonna see an actual circle, right? But no, it's not actually in circle, a circle It's just some random ass stuff But the value of p What, what, is, what should p be bro? What should p be? Right, so what should P be? Printing the generated. Yeah, like, fuck you. Algorithm to rasterize circles. Algorithm to rasterize circle. Midpoint circle algorithm. The algorithm draws all eight octants simultaneously, starting from each cardinal direction and extend both ways. For each point, the following holds. This and likewise for the next point. Uh huh. Yeah, since the first yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay, variant with integer based arithmetic. Uh huh. Repeat until x is smaller y. Pixel x y are all colored. Um, y is equal to y plus 1, t1 is equal to t1 plus y, t2, okay, okay. Drawing incomplete octants. 
Yeah, now it's about resetting lines and circles. For lines, man, we have resetting circles. You can easily think one on uh, on an algorithm which goes step by step from negative r to plus r in x direction, and for each x value, the two y values of the circle are calculated and plotted. Uh -huh. Yeah, this kind of makes sense. This kind of makes sense, but what is my... What does plot even do? Right, so what does plot do? Plot probably just displays it. And what is m y? Like maybe the middle y and plus f y. F y is probably like the actual y. Yeah. Okay. 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 I mean, why not? So let's see. Like two plots. Uh, let's say like in can we not can we not I think we can't oh, okay um so basically for um u in 30 or in 32 t x is equal to uh, minus r x is less than equal to r x plus plus we say um, in 32 t uh, y is equal to square root of uh, r times r minus x times okay right x times x kind of kind of makes sense and then we have um, and we just have fill pixel screen. Um, with height x y but this is actually not y this is boss dot y plus y and um and yeah and this gives us stuff right so let's say you can on screen and this is minus y so let's see what that gives us your circle uh, incompatible type. Ah, oh, so we need a kind of actual color. So select two, three, three. I mean, what color is it? Position. Three. What did you expect, right? Right. Undefined reference square root. Oh. Oh. So let's link with M. Currently. Look at that. Right? Look at that. Uh, so are we even iterating stuff? Alright, so let's see if we're actually iterating stuff, but we probably are, right? We are not, what? That's insane, right? So. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! That looks not that bad! That doesn't look that bad. Like, it looks bad. Not that bad. Right. 
So we kind of need to fill in the entire thing. And also... Also, we... Kind of... That's kind of wrong, right? It doesn't even make any difference. Why? Alright. Kind of doesn't make a real dis difference. Um, I mean, what I just want is check if a sir if a thing is inside or not inside a circle. So let's ask the friend of ours, right? How can I check if a given point x y is inside or outside a circle? Distance formula and compared with the circus radius. Yeah. Oh my god, true. Kind of real, right? Yeah. Wait, but what is H and what is K? One way is, yeah, that's exactly that. That's exactly uh, that. So what you basically need to do H and G is center. H and K is center. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, nice. So, uh, so let's see. Mm, let's see. That was everything. Everything of this is so messed up, right? Let's can we do something like that? Mm, that so. Size dot x and um, let's just kind of say uh, radius. radius it's simple but requires to check every pixel yes yeah but mm, yeah i mean it's a square root and stuff right but whatever so float d is equal to a square root of um of x minus uh minus the cos dot x um but by the way x is actually what x x actually is is minus is post dot x wait is post dot x minus r divided by two right right So R divided by two, and X is less than X is less than posted X plus R divided by two. Kind of makes sense, right? Okay, um, and and the same for y, right? So let's get the same thing for y. And r is a result of intellectual division. Intellectual division is the way, right? Um, and then we have a fill pixel. Okay, so let's. So let's actually do that. So plus y plus pos dot y. Oh, it's actually the center. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's actually correct. 
Okay, but that needs to be Y. So Y must Y. Y must Y. Stop Y. Y. And then um, we have this shit. Yeah, but we need to kind of need to square that, right? So times y plus plus of y. We square that shit. Um, then times x plus plus of x. Mm. And then green. Yeah, so did we not make any errors? I don't think so. And then if d is greater than is less than or equal to r, we just fill the pixel. Let's see what happens, right? Maybe it, there's something good that happens, but maybe not. We get that shit, right? <laughs> we get that shit. Okay. Now we get just nothing. That's also cool. Um. Yeah. Not bad. Not not bad. I think formula is wrong. Why? Wait, like the radius is a little bit like it could be say six for the radius. Yeah, look at that shit. Look at that shit, right? So what if we say zero zero for center? Don't give me give me that. Um, like the problem is, I think the problem is how how we are iterating the stuff. Um, so. So what we basically need is we want to kind of iterate. We want to kind of iterate from. Yeah, but I mean it's kind of correct, right? Because what we're doing, we have this point, and then we offset it in the y direction, then iterate down, and in the x direction. I mean it's kind of. We kind of do it correctly, right? Wait, we say plus plus of x twice. What the fuck? That's dumb. What? So that's still being the same thing. So three three. What about? Five, five. Okay. <laughs> okay. What about six six? Six is, is just nothing. Okay, so hmm. Mm hmm. Actually, kind of weird, right? Okay, so let's try just saying is equal to uh, plus dot uh, y, and then and then we say uh, y is less than plus of y plus r and plus r as well in here. Okay, also gives us absolutely nothing. I mean, so how should I? Line 77. It's, it's right. Uh, or am I missing something? X plus, I think. Ooh. You're correct. Thank you, man. What? 
Why? Why is it so hard to draw a fucking circle? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Where is the formula? Support you. Thank you, man. So the for uh, the formula is is this. So it's x minus and it's minus in here. Yeah, probably ChatGPT hallucinating, right? Or, or maybe we also have some kind of weird typo, right? I don't know. One, one, one what were one was one gif? Just a fucking square. I mean, it's just a fucking square, right? So we basically have squares now. And four, four? It, it's just a square. It's just a square. Oh my god, it's just just a square, just a square. Amazing man. It's it's a square, right? It's a square. Yeah, so that's kind of scuffed. Maybe try bigger to canvas. I mean we Bro, we have a square. I mean, obviously the canvas being bigger would be kind of good thing, right? So let's kind of say 100 by 100, 20, 20, radius of 20. Kind of a big one, right? Okay, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's say 50 by 50, maybe. And it starts at 10, 10, and radius of 10. I'm trying to do that without much scrolling. Yeah. Like that, right? Like that. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't work, right? Um. I mean the formula is correct, I, I hope. Yes. And the X Um How should I iterate the X and Y? Like this is formula, right? So it's exactly the same thing. As far as I think, right? So... Yeah... Okay, we could do something like that, right? So we could do, yeah, yes, formulas collect. Yeah, I know. It's so dumb. So let's do uh, y is equal to 10. And um, y is less than 20. And um, yeah, just 20. And then x is equal to 10, x is less than 20, x plus plus. Okay, that's kind of a good thing. But we're kind of only drawing the... This thing, right? Ah, but we need radius squared, right? Uh, no, we don't even need that. We we can basically just stop the square root, right? So we can, and then square the radius, which is probably more efficient, right? So, can you just work, please, bro. Just to work, yeah, please. Sir. 
Okay, now we have this. Ah, because... I'll turn some on. Okay, so we basically have this thing. But he kind of says plus one. But this doesn't really make a difference, right? So we only have the... Why? I kind of don't get it, right? I kind of don't get it. Um, I only get the lower... Uh, like the right lower part of the circuit bro. Um Yeah. Fourth quadrant. Yeah. Check if the pride is inside or outside. A range, what is that? Yeah, like, what if we do something like, because the radius is probably, yeah, the radius is too large to be encapsulated in that, so it's maybe like that. Okay, what if we say, like, 10 and then like minus 10 to 10, minus 10, 10. You call it ChatGPT, bro, yeah. I didn't know what to do, bro. I didn't know. So that's kind of scuffed, right? So now we have this part. Now we have this part. Why? I mean, he kind of says, here's the problem, except floating points, like, also because you're using range that only processes the positive y values, which is why you only see the lower right part if you want to get the full circle. What? I am getting... Yeah, kind of, kind of doesn't make any sense, right? Kind of doesn't. Just wanted to render some circuits, man. Just wanted to render some circuits. Why? Probably have to take a break, right? Because I don't really get it currently. The only render I know is, yeah, okay, cool. Um, right, so that's actually really, really dumb, right? Really dumb. Mm. I mean, we have, the points are going from, like, let's see, but, but the thing is, we are starting the circle, let's start the circle at zero, zero. Now we get that. Right? And... And then, what if we say plus, um, plus y, right? I mean, plus post y. So basically, minus r, yeah, I think it's like that. Minus r plus post y. And, and then we say, um, r plus, uh, r plus post y. So it's basically minus r and then plus r and in here we say uh, x is equal to 
post.x minus r y is equal to no 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 x is less than post.x plus r okay let's see if we still get the same thing yeah that's good already so now let's try saying like for form okay i guess Look at this shit. Look at this shit. So let's say 10 10. Oh, the entire thing. What? So fucking circle, man. Some kind of a circle. So let's say 5 10 10. Oh my god, look at this beautiful circle, it's so beautiful, it doesn't even, it isn't even fucking, um, it isn't even fucking, ge like, geometric symmetrical, bro, what is this, <laughs> why is that, man, maybe because we're using floats and stuff? No, it sticks, right? Okay, it actually isn't a fix. Um, right, okay. So, so you kind of have that. Ah, but I think what we kind of need is a plus one. And a plus, like in here, right? So a plus one and a plus one. Yes, let's go. That's so cool, right? That's a fucking circle. It's a fucking circle, man. So let's say uh, 20, or well, let's say 15 by 15, something that we can see actually, right? So 15 by 15, 5, 5. Nice. I mean, the circle is kind of not really looking like an actual circle, right? Um, but that's nothing that a bigger screen height can't fix, I guess. What the hell? Oh my god, what you getting called? You need to go, which is also a good break. Alright guys, I'm <laughs> sorry, but it's actually time to go. It's time to go. I um I need to end the stream now because I have something to do. But we wrote a few lines of code, right? We mess I, I was kind of getting more and more frustrated till the end. That's the average tendency for me, right? Um so uh so we kind of took a while to like it took a while to implement circles right but in the end we still got it uh, with a little bit of help from our partner um <laughs> but uh still i hope you like the stream and bye guys oh my god mike hold on sorry